New BMW 2 Series Coupe Revealed BMW has revealed its eagerly awaited 2 Series Coupe ahead of public debate at the Detroit Motor Show. Due to go on sale in March, the rear wheel drive successor to the 1 Series Coupe adopts BMW's new naming system, which sees the German carmakers more overly sporting models to receive an even number model designation, as seen on the recently introduced 4 Series and long established 6 Series. Three engine options will be available at international launch. The replacement for the highly rated M135i Coupe runs a 321 bhp version of BMW's twin scroll turbocharged 3.0 liter inline six cylinder petrol engine, giving it a 0 to 100 km per hour time of 5.0 second in standard six speed manual guys or 4.8 second with an option eight speed automatic gearbox. A further two models, the 218D and 225D, are planned to join the lineup in May 2014. The 2 Series Coupe sports unique exterior styling credited to a team of in-house designers overseen by the BMW brand design boss Karim Habib. The appearance is considerably more refined than that of World 1 Series Coupe, boasting a combination of traditional elements and contemporary touches in a classic three-box body that, in keeping with the new car sporting brief, clearly places good looks ahead of overall practicality. As with other recent BMW models, buyers will be able to choose between four individual lines, SC Sport, Modern and M Sport. The latter standard on the M235i in combination with 18-inch wheels and lowered suspension. At 4,432mm in length, 1,774mm in width and 1,418mm in height, the 2 Series is 72mm longer, 24mm wider and 7mm lower than the outgoing 1 Series Coupe. It also has a 30mm longer wheelbase than its predecessor at 2,690mm. Inside, the 2 Series offers seating for four together with 390 litres of luggage capacity, some 20 litres more than the 1 Series Coupe. BMW also claims the new car boasts an added 19mm of front seat headroom and 21mm of rear seat legroom than the car it replaces. The interior is largely lifted from the second-generation 1 Series hatchback, including the dashboard, front seats and switchgear. However, a limited number of unique trim elements attempt to provide the new car with an individual feel. Together with the coupe, the new 2 Series will also support a cabriolet model. Planned for launch during the second half of 2014, it follows the lead of 1 Series cabriolet in adopting a fabric hood and boasting seating for 4 adults along with 270 litres of luggage space. Among the standard equipment planned for the 2 Series coupe in the UK is air conditioning, a leather-bound multi-function steering wheel, rear park sensors, automatic dimming rear view mirror and LED tail lights. The 2 Series uses the same range of longitudinally mounted engines and the same rear wheel drive platforms as the existing 1 Series hatchback, a layout BMW says provides the new car with class leading performance and handling. In efforts to improve its dynamics and provide it with a more sporting nature than its hatchback siblings, BMW's engineers have provided the entry level coupe with unique chassis turning. It also features its own track widths, which also vary between standard 2 Series coupe models and the M235i. An electronically controlled limited slip differential also appears on range topping model as standard. While BMW is yet to confirm it, sources have confirmed selected models including the M235i are set to receive an X-Driver 4-wheel drive option. The 2 Series Coupe is assembled at BMW's Leipzig factory on the same line as a 1 Series hatchback. I'm sure you enjoyed this episode of Green Signal. We checked out Nissan Tirana. We also checked out what's on offer this festive season and of course updates from the automobile world. It's time for us to wind up this episode of Green Signal. I'll see you next week with another update, another car, another review. Till then, drive safe and get in sync with your city. This is Neeraja signing off. Bye-bye.